But one of the things with the 100 degree temperatures we've had lately and lack of rainfall when corn was tasseling, um, we've seen that a lot of corn did not pollinate and therefore we're not going to have an ear on it. So really what we wanted to talk about today with our farmers that came here is how can you, they utilize this crop to feed livestock because without it forming an ear and actually filling out the corn growers won't actually have the yields that they want but this is a crop that if we get it at the correct moisture and then we put it in for silage and pack it correctly we can actually have a very good crop to feed our livestock this winter and this fall. One of the things that's very important is we are picking up nitrates in this crop so it's very important to test it and make sure that it is safe. We want to make sure when we um, feed this crop either we graze it or we green chop it or feed it as hay. Nitrates do not leave so it's very important that it be at a safe level when we feed that. When we ensile a crop and it goes through a proper fermentation, for example if we put silage in a silo and it ferments for three to four weeks usually we see 40 to 50 percent reduction in the amount of nitrates that are there. So that is one way to reduce nitrates. We can also put this up as baleage it's very important that you get the proper moisture again. For um, baleage, we're looking at 45 to 60% moisture in that crop. Um, so it's very important that we actually get that moisture in there so that we can get that crop to ferment. It's real important if we do put it up as baleage, we get that proper moisture, that we crimp it with a conditioner, and also we put it up in, it will cut it up in pieces, and then we wrap that with more layers of plastic than we normally would. We're talking seven layers or more, and if part of this stem, the stalk here actually punctures through that plastic, it's real important that they put more layers of plastic on that particular baleage. So for more information, we encourage people to come to the uh, UK website and learn more about that. Um, but first and foremost, if we can put it up as silage, chop it with an actual chopper, put it up as silage, that's probably our preferred method. They can store it in bags, they can pile it on the ground, and we got to make sure we pack it properly. But a key is the proper moisture. And this crop dries down very quickly. You can see it's already starting to fire up on this one. There's some other plants over here to my, um, in front of me here that have already started to fire up. This crop is going to dry down very quickly. So it's very important that we get the proper moisture, and to do that, we actually have to measure that. So using a microwave to actually measure the moisture content or dry matter content of it, or a coster tester or some method to actually see actually how much is really here, because it is very critical when we, to make good silage that we get proper moisture and we get it packed correctly. And one of the things that you can tell we're gonna sacrifice is probably the one few ear we see here. Um, but basically what I was taught by an agronomist, our corn specialist, was to actually take a little pocket knife and basically just score the ear. What you want to see is that we still have some, but this plant, we did get some actual pollination on this plant. Up here you can see where there's pretty much, you can see the silks attached. If the silks are still attached, pretty much we did not get pollination. And I have some other examples where the ear, basically there's hardly any pollination on it. This one is at the edge of the field here, but you can see no pollination up here because the silks are attached. Down here a lot better pollination because lack of silks. And so we have some other examples where we actually, you can see hardly any silks. And then we have an example of where the whole ear is covered with silks, basically no pollination. What that means to a grain farmer is that he's not gonna get corn grain. And so that is why this crop is very valuable for livestock because they're short forage to start with and um, the corn that maybe they have does not have the yield because 50% of the yield is in the ear. And so it's very important that we get it at the proper moisture content and basically make it an animal feed because as forage because it will not make a grain crop.